a blessed day and welcome. The verse for meditation this morning comes to us from the book of Luke, chapter 21 and 26. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. We are living in the most catastrophic days. Who would have ever imagined that a virus that is so minute in size could halt the entire world, shut down businesses, airports, and even cause one to be isolated from one's own family? Today, all they ever talk about on the news is the virus. In fact, Corona has captured even the media. People around the world are living in fear. Recently, I went into the supermarket and was about to sneeze when my husband stopped me. I finally ended up biting my tongue. Gone are the days when people blessed those who sneezed. Today, even a sneeze is considered a symptom of Corona and people will run away or stare with rage. The word of God is accurate. We see this morning that people will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world. The signs are clearly visible globally and incite a global panic far more serious than the shaking of the stock market, a product of men. Today, without a doubt, we see these signs taking place as the word of God can never be annulled. Secondly, the verse states that the heavenly bodies will be shaken. The heavens here are seen as the abode of heavenly forces. So their shaking indicates distress in the spiritual realm. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know the kingdom of God is near. The disciples supposed that the Messiah's kingdom would be ushered in by universal peace. Jesus, on the contrary, tells them that the signs which shall immediately precede are wars, confusions, perplexity and distress. The general duty which these words would teach us is very plain. We are to observe carefully the public events of the times in which we live. We are not to be absorbed in politics but we are to mark political events. We are not to become prophets ourselves, but we are to study diligently the signs of our times. But all in all, the call today is to lean on the rock of ages that remains stable forever. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, come. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you for all the signs you have given us so that we might be vigilant. We place our trust in you alone because you never fail. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.